But we did hear one gunshot and everybody was kind of ducking and almost hitting the ground. Moments of terror in the suburbs today when an armed man takes hostages at a bank. He was later killed by a SWAT officer. Elizabeth Matthews live tonight with more. Elizabeth. Corey Dunn, still unclear how many hostages were involved in this incident, but police tell us none of them were injured. Speaking of police officers, they are still on scene here tonight. Earlier this afternoon, officers responded from all across the suburbs to help assist with this. Many of the businesses in this area had to be evacuated. I've been here 15 years now, um, and I've never seen anything like this before. 3.40 Tuesday afternoon, Romeoville police say an armed man walked into the Fifth Third Bank on Weber Road and opened fire inside. Witnesses say multiple times. Lisa Coleman lives across the street. I heard copters um, above my house and I came outside and I saw SWAT um, blocking off the intersection. Police say they were notified when those inside the bank called 911. Caller stated there was an armed individual inside the bank demanding officers respond to the area. Romeoville Deputy Chief Brant Ramadka says the suspect allowed the hostages to walk out of the bank to waiting officers. Police quickly set up a perimeter, shutting down Weber, and SWAT took over. Will County SWAT then engaged with the individual, and one shot was fired by a Will County SWAT officer. Coleman says she believes she heard that single gunshot. We heard a pop after we saw two SWAT trucks. We heard a pop and everybody was almost hitting the ground. We didn't because we were so far across the street. The unidentified suspect was rushed to a nearby hospital but died from his injuries. The motive tonight is still unclear. Police are looking into whether or not this was a bank robbery or something else. Illinois State Police Troopers will investigate the officer-involved shooting aspect of this. Corey Dunn, back to you.